What's going on, Miss Jeffco? How you doing? How you Happy doing? Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm well. Mr. Edie, how are you? I am doing good. Oh, my God. It's been a, a crazy morning today. Oh, my God. What's so crazy about it? Well, first, for those of you who are watching, you know, <laughs> we were supposed to start this thing at, three, at what, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. And it is now 7, and we had some serious issues, and hopefully we fixed our technical difficulties, but we're up and popping now. Yes, these things happen, you know, so we appreciate the patience. And that's what Mr. Edie has to work on, his patience. He wants everything to happen real time right away. But if it's made by man, it's subject to fail. Yeah, that's as true. As it just did. It didn't fail. That was me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. Okay. Yeah. So you gonna fix it? Oh yeah, I can. I'm okay. just, I'm just. I was uh, actually, um, I was over here testing the background music to see if, if the background music was coming through or not. So it seemed like everything is coming up. You know, the crazy thing is, I can't really hear the master program output. Hmm. Are you good with it? Oh, I'm good with. It. As long as as long as the mic's not cutting off, I can see that the master program is going out. Okay. But, hey, so I'm riding through the neighborhood today. Okay. And and I guess there's some things that. I should not really, really, really be concerned about, you know, but rolling through the, through the freaking neighborhood, guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, OK, uh, what's actually going on in the neighborhood? You know, uh, I'm looking at all the. Um, uh, uh, the new movers. Are we talking about actually, established people or the ones that's just moving? I'm in? looking at, at all the people that's been living here for a while. OK, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, what in the hell? You know, these guys got, everybody want cable TV or whatever. Right. But they choose not, they choose not to freaking, um, how do I put it? They don't want to put the cables behind the damn siding. They want to just run the siding on the outside of the house. That's killing me. Well, Dwayne, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to lift you up in prayer. While ergonomically the right thing to do may be to put it under the siding, a lot of times people have just been rigging things for a long time that when you're in a subdivision and you see it, it looks a tad bit more irritating than just being in a country on private property and be like, hey, I'm just going to run this line. We're going to make it straight and pretty down here. Although you got a white wall, this black line, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it happens. And it's to the point now that I have to catch myself because when I see a black line, I'd be like, oh, I hope Dwayne doesn't see that. Because I see what you see. And I don't ride as much as you ride. You know, so, but I see it though. But I'm here for the, for the people. I'm here for the people. Okay. All right, guys, let me, let me explain something to you. The tool that it takes to take your siding off your house is less than three bucks. Provided that you have the know-how. Thank you. Okay, the top of the siding, the top of the siding, guys, is actually nailed down. The bottom of the siding is not nailed down. So you can pull the bottom up. Now, you got to understand that the top piece is connected to the bottom piece. Okay. So once you, f it just clips underneath it. Okay. You can pull it. If you got enough time to drill through your siding, you got enough time to, to take a freaking screwdriver or something and pop the siding out and, and, and check this out. On the corner of your house, on the corner of your house, the siding is just slid, it just slid in there. It's not, it's not nailed down. It's just slid in there. So if you look at the corner of your house, you'll see that the siding, you can just reach in there and pull, pull your siding up. I get it. But are we helping or are we, are we fussing? A little bit of both. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to ask. Someone had to, you know, bring in that lot of transparency there. So I just had to ask. So, I mean, at first it was like, all you have to do is, like I said, every, and I'm going to defend you guys. And I understand where he's coming from. He has the know-how. But the average brother may not understand if I lift this siding, it's not going to make the rest of the rows below it fall or above it fall. But I know people personally who shall remain nameless who don't know how to do that. And to be honest with you, prior to you saying it, I knew it could be done, but I didn't know how. And I've never corrected him and say, well, bro, you know, if you just lift it and clip it back on there, it works. I'm saying I've heard people say, say that, like, you know, I wonder if I took what I have to call or pay 
I'm just saying. So that's what I'm saying. Let's come from a standpoint of educate versus then over evaluate. <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, it does happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to educate you. Yeah. You can take this siding off your home. All right. If you got, if you're going to go in a wall and you're going to go through your sheetrock, it, it should at least be behind the siding. I agree. You know, don't drill a hole in the siding where the water can come in and then get behind the sheetrock and then, you cause know, more damage. cause more damage. Right. I totally get it. And I get that it does happen. But like I say, you know, it's easy for us. You know, it's easy to pass by that house. You know, I give you a prime example. We have neighbors. And right now, their yard may look like, oh, my God, what's going on with them? But people who ride by saying that don't realize their circumstances. You know what I'm saying? You know, things happen. And whereas a yard is mainly or normally manicured, it just hasn't been because of things that's happening in people's life. And they haven't been around because of extenuating circumstances. So a lot of people just flat out don't know. A yard is somebody can cut a yard. I but agree. nobody can just run up on them and just be like, bro, you see that line? I know you're behind. No, you can put it behind that side. And no, they just, they just don't know. You know, or better yet, you know what? A lot of us have that mentality to say, hey, if that's the way Direct TV put it, that's the way it's supposed to be. I've actually had Direct TV come out and Direct TV have actually changed. Actually, it was Time Warner. Time okay. Warner came out and they ran the the cable line along the side of my house. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, no, bro. No, we ain't, we ain't about to do that. He was like, the manager came out here and said, sir, that's how we do it. I say, that's not how you're going to do it at my house. Right. You're going to get your butt up in that attic and you're going to go, you're going to fish that line down and you're going to put that line behind that siding. How many of us realize that we can challenge the Time Warner Cable guy or the, you know what I'm saying? When we ask for that satellite or whatever service they're coming to bring, we allow them to do their job. And so long that line runs neatly down the middle of that cream siding on my house, I'm not too much fighting about it. It's, it's not that I don't want to fight. I just don't know any better. I figured, hey, if that's the way they did it, it's obviously a part of the way they've been trained to do it. A lot of people just, they don't, they don't know to challenge it. I'm telling you. And I'm not saying that, I mean, I don't like to use the word ignorance because it only means you don't know, but it sounds like you're being rude when you use it. But... A lot of times it just take a conversation and you can just say to somebody, hey, you realize, man, I was wondering about that. But, you know, I figured that that's the way they did it. That's the way it had to be. We just don't know. And I mean, I've seen it on, on so many different levels. It happens. Sadly enough. Well, in the subdivision, the, <laughs> the time on the cable guy, did he did say he say that's how we train our tech to run it. And, and, and my thing is this, that might be the way you train your techs to do it. But you know, and I know as well, that you wouldn't do it at your home like that, that there's a better way to actually do it. And that's to run it behind the siding. I'm not telling you to run it in the walls. You know, I'm asking you to run it behind the siding and then go up the siding into my attic and then run it into my attic. But Dwayne, again, I'm, I'm still playing devil's advocate here. I am a single woman and I live alone. Time Warner, I'm sorry, DirecTV came and brought this satellite and put it on the top of my roof and they ran that line down that down the side of that siding of those cream shutters, I mean that cream siding on my house. Right. I don't know any better. So you can't really sit here and say, I know you're not going to let DirecTV come out here and run that line. Yes, I am. Because I figured if I call them for that satellite, they're going to do what's ergonomically correct. Now, it may be five ways to do it and they may take the quicker of the five routes. But that doesn't mean that I'm wrong for letting them do it. I just didn't know. And they're not going to. Now, they may go to some other neighborhood and they know it's not allowed. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But for me not being the wiser, it don't make me the bad guy just because Mr. Know-it-all, and I'm just saying this for the sake of the conversation, rolled through the neighborhood and said it doesn't look correct. Okay. Yeah. And that's all I'm saying. I mean, I know it irks <laughs> us to see things, but we got to yeah. consider that a lot of people just, a lot of people are getting houses for the first time. I mean, I've been in my house like 20 something years. Hey, let me put myself on front street because he liked to drag me about this. I've been in my house, June will be 21 years. And I would say about 75% in the, I'm going to say about 65% of the stuff in my house is original. Period. Dwayne likes to use this slogan. 
she take she stretch a, di- a dollar till it holler. Ain't that's what you like to say? Well, let me say let me say this. Miss Jeff Coat <laughs> still have the same stove and refrigerator and in, do in her house for 20 years. And it's not that is not the same refrigerator. We've had that conversation. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, this is something that just recently happened. Went in her hot water uh, closet. Right. With a hot water tank. Right. And I'm, I'm always fussing at her about, listen, you need to, you know, start start changing things out. Your air conditioning is getting old. This is getting old. Or that's getting old. We went in there. We went, We wasn't even looking for that, were we? No, I think that, remember that Eco B told me about the... Um, the humidity. The, yeah, something was super high or more moisture than normal. Right, right. And we look and that pan was full of water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So her... her and we, we caught it just in time because we didn't want it to ruin her One floor. One more day would have, yeah, got up on them, them woods, that so, wood floor. Uh, we were able to get in there and, and get it, get her to get a little cup. And I scooped it right <laughs> on out there. But <laughs> I, let me tell you guys, just to make my point, you know, when I built my house, I was in a far different financial situation than I was a year, two years after building it. I lost my job. I was out of a job for a whole 10 months. I never missed a house note. I never missed a car note because I saved. But my thing was, I wasn't trying to beautify that house when I'm making $35,000. You know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking about that old cheap chandelier they're putting up there in the ceiling because I got to make sure I keep the lights on. You know, so yeah, nowadays I'm, I'm starting to change a few things out. But now what he also didn't mention was he was saying, yeah, it's time to look around and get some things done. So as a protective measure, I did get the home shield. Right, right. I you like know? home shield. Right. So now I have that insurance. So when that hot water heater did go out, I didn't have to come out of my pocket one dime. Now it took them three and a half weeks to get it here. <laughs> hey, you got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, but I, exactly. And it costs absolutely nothing to me. You know, so... I had to make a couple of sacrifices. I had to boil water. I had to go to someone else and take a shower. But now that I got hot water, I have a plan. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So the same thing with my unit. When that unit goes out, I don't have to worry about it. You know, if that stove or that washer or dryer go out, I don't have to worry about it. And just for the record, that stove is the only original appliance in that house. The only. Original OG. The original OG. <laughs> now, and ask him how many times he eat off that stove. Crickets. I'm going right. to put my business out there in the street like that. <laughs> Just say it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about my stove. No, I mean, it's a nice piece of equipment, but you know, what I'm saying is that eventually we got to start looking around. We got to start protecting things. You know, my Most dad always told me, he was like, you know, an appliance only lasts about 10, 12 years, mm-hmm. you know, and if it lasts that long, then, you know, you've gotten that air condition. You've gotten your money without that. Air I most definitely have. And I think it's still running. It's yeah. still I, it's, I was outside the other day, uh, actually yesterday, and I hear wow, 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 wow. I'm next thinking. Door. I said, man, my air conditioner is like less than two years old. What the world's going on? But like you said, it was next door. Next door. Oh, it wasn't yours. No. Oh, okay. I was about no. to say. I figured when you said next door, because I know they built their house around shortly. They built theirs before you or after? I think they've um they replaced the air conditioner before already, though. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. But me and I think Sherelle is still on her old air conditioning. We moved in a day apart. But she said, just like everybody else tell her, said, don't fix it. So if anything happened to it, just, you know, exchange it. Don't try to do no fixing. You know, so when that no. time come, I'm definitely ready. I mean, actually, if it wasn't about me paying that monthly fee now, I'd probably go ahead and change the thing. Yeah, I, I would say if... Um, if if anything go wrong with it, just go ahead and change it out. Most definitely. You know, I don't need to actually sit there and be like, because here's what what actually happened to me. It was that I had to, um, my air handler had a leak in it. Okay. And then once my air handler had the leak, so I had I had to go and, and replace the air handler. So okay. they had to take all the Freon out of the air handler to actually, to change the air conditioning out. I mean, to, to change that particular piece out. Okay. Well, I knew that the price of Freon when they went to put it back in was going to cost me almost a thousand dollars. Okay. Because they only they only give you so much, mm-hmm. so much Freon to put back into the system in a brand new system. So I would have had to come out of my pocket a thousand dollars. So I told them, 
and they they don't use Freon any, anymore. So, right in the newer air conditions. Right. So I right. went ahead, I went ahead and told them to go ahead. You know, since they since they had it, I went ahead and told them to go ahead and replace the air conditioning unit and the and the uh, air hammer. Okay. But because I had American Home Shield, American Home Shield replaced the air handler, but I had to replace the air conditioning unit myself. It didn't die. I had to actually go in and, gotcha. and actually replace it myself. So they replaced the air handler as a broken appliance, but because the air conditioning wasn't dead, it wasn't. They weren't going to change the unit. Right. Gotcha. Right. So okay. I went ahead and, and actually did that, and I got a pretty good deal on that too. So that's good. My dad keeps telling me he hit that I hit them across the head. So <laughs> I ended up getting everything installed for less than five grand. So. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm excited if I have to put a new one down there because I know it's going to be more efficient, and I think my house is well insulated for stuff like. I mean. As it should be, but I think a newer air condition would definitely bring about greater comfort. But I mean, that one down there still puts out now. I mean, it gives oh, yeah, me what I need. You know, the the only like, I don't want to go down the smart home thing, but you, if you're not home all the time, you don't know that your air condition runs a lot, mm-hmm. and the older it gets, it just runs longer to maintain the same amount of uh, actual um cooling or heating that it needs to to maintain. That's the only difference, right? So, but. Did you hear about the shooting? I did. Oh my God. I did. That is so sad. Actually, one of my girlfriends was posting on Facebook where the, the area where the shooting happened, which was they, they said around the Gap store. Are you familiar with Columbiana like that? Was it in Columbiana? I thought it was in Columbia Mall. No, Columbiana. Oh. Irmo. No, I'm not. Yeah. So when last you been there, Mall? It's been a while. Yeah, I've been there. It's just I, I when I stopped running the city, I haven't been there forever. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, but if you come out of the food court heading into the mall, as soon as you turn that corner, it's a jewelry store, and then there's Gap. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like what they call the mouth of the food the food court. Mm-hmm. And across the way from that Gap is a sister store called Express. Okay. And one of my girlfriend and her children were in Express when it happened. And I think prior to law enforcement getting there, and I'm paraphrasing because I can't remember how she wrote it on Facebook, that they were able to get to the back of the store. And I think somebody let them out of a back exit in the store. You know, they all took off trying to, you know, trying to shelter or whatever. But um, yeah, um, it was sad. It was sad. What what actually what actually uh, transpired right now? All I know from what I've read is that. They said it was an isolated incident. It wasn't a random. Nobody just didn't come up in there and just fire shots. Somebody saw somebody, and I guess it was some unfinished stuff, and it led to someone drawing a gun, shooting at a particular person. Now, who, why, and what, I don't think all of that has come out yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but it was an isolated event. It was not random. It's not like somebody was just saying, I'm going nuts, I'm about to go in the mall and, you know, Give it what I got. Okay. So they had three people detained. And I think I didn't get to read it in detail, but right before we went on air, I think I saw where they have one suspect now. So, and I think of the three people that was detained, one of them had a gun and they was waiting to get all the details and make sure everything matched to see who actually fired the rounds or if the rounds all came from one person or if the rounds came from one person and the other, you know, kind of like a, you know, a round robin where somebody's trying to protect themselves because someone's shooting at them. So how many rounds was actually fired? I think they said about 12 to 13 rounds were fired, 10 10 to 13 rounds, I'm not exactly sure, but I do know um, the news said 12 people were injured and I saw 13 online, but when the news gave it, 12 were injured. Of those 12, I think 10 were transported, 10 went to the hospital, eight were transported, and two two drove themselves there. Um, From what I read this morning, most of them has been released. Two of them are listed in critical condition. And the ages of those who who actually caught a bullet was highest age was 75 and youngest age was 15, 73 and 15. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know know when the last time I actually been to... uh Columbiana Mall. Yeah. So it's it was sad. I went there Friday because my mom needed something since she had her little procedure done on her toe. And I went in belt to look for what she asked me to look for. And I couldn't find it. And I said, well, let me go to Dillard's. And I pondered because I don't like walking in the strip of the mall. 
if I want to go to a mall, I usually, this is crazy. I usually go to a store that has an exit door. Okay. That's okay. my thing. I always park at a store that has an exit door. I'm either going to park at Dillard's or I'm going to park at my um, belt. I'm not a JCPenney person, but JCPenney has exit doors. Okay. You know, now in times, most time, if, if need be, I will, you know, go park at belt so <laughs> that I can go to Black House White Market. Okay. But I try to get to the nearest store that has a door to get me where I want to. And I, I, I know you might have had this conversation before, before about, you know, accompanying people at the mall. I enjoy shopping, but when I go shopping, I have to have a reason. I mean, I just don't get in the car and be like, oh, I'm going to the mall. And if I'm going to look for me a pair of pants, ain't about, about two or three places in that mall I'm going to look. I'm going to look in Belk. I'm going to look in Dillard's. I'm going to look in White House Black Market. I'm out. I ain't doing all that lollygag. It's something about, I, I've never been, I probably ran more with Janelle back in the day. But, but then, Clemiano was a little bit more upscale. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that what it was? Upscale? Back then, <laughs> right now, it's a little, everything is like, you know, the trendy stuff. You know, the, everything is trendy, you know, kind of like not my taste. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I, if I wasn't delivering to Columbia Mall, mm -hmm. I hate going in that area. And the only reason I would go up there is when they, do they still have that uh, Best Buy there? Yeah, the Best Buy is still across the street there. Yes, that's the only reason that I went up there. And I think we went up there a couple of times to eat and that's about it. Right. Other than that, no, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My online game has gotten better when it comes to shopping. But you know what? With everything going on now and I'm just, I'm not fearful, but I try to limit to my, myself with the crowds. You know what I'm saying? In big areas. I think you're just a little scary. I'm, I mean, I, I'm not saying there isn't a hint of scare there, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, and let it shut me down. Right, right, you know, right, right, right. Just like last year, I paid for USC tickets and I didn't go to the game. I wanted COVID to settle a little bit more. Right. You right. know, but I'm going this year. I'm ready. I'm ready. Look out, USC. Here Got we to get come. There. Got to get there. <laughs> hey, they had a big parade. It's time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they had a big parade for the Gamecocks. I think Wednesday for the Lady Gamecocks. Man, it was it was awesome. I didn't something told me to stay, but I didn't want to stay down there by myself. Right, right. But it was it was lovely. I mean, the people were there. It, it looked like Million Man March out there. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> it was lovely. Oh, it was lovely. God. I mean, we sat there and we watched. And I think I had mentioned to you before, Dawn Staley's mother, I think she grew up on the back part of Happy Town? Woodford, no, Woodford North area. I know uh, that's what the mom did. Um, she was um, uh, Anthony, if I'm not mistaken. And then she married a Staley, or Don's dad is a Staley. I didn't hear it because I started out down to my parents' house and then I ended up leaving and coming home and catching the other end of it. But I heard someone say on Facebook, said Don Staley gave a shout out to Swanson. He said, I remember being down there in the summers when I was a little child going to the breakfast club. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Go Don Staley, do right. your thing, girl. Yes, sir. Yeah. So she said they're going to run it back. We ready. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Show up and show out. That's show all I like up and show out. Yeah. So I think one of the girls, um, I don't know all their names right now, but she went pro. She's playing for Indiana. And um, Victoria, I know she could. She was eligible to leave, but she's going to come back for her last season and play. And hopefully they, they have the opportunity to run it back for real, for real. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. Can't beat that. Can't beat it. I know we jumped in on this with you guys, but happy Easter, everybody. Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> Started my day off and I don't know what it was. You know, I'm kind of getting into the groove of everything now. So I jumped up this morning, went right in the bathroom, started ironing my clothes and everything. Mm -hmm. Went down to, you know, to the church. Uh, the young female got baptized. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, you know, it's always good singing at Mount Pleasant. So. Good. You know, we had some good singing and uh and then the pastor bought the word. So it was actually pretty good service. Pretty good service. Good, good. I went to my church this morning and we had a good service as well. You know, Easter Sunday is always fun. It's different when you're older, you know, and it's not as many children children now, you know, like yesterday. We would, back in the day when my family we used to have Easter egg hunt, 
you know, to go to on Saturday mornings. Everybody be looking for that golden egg fun time. And Queen used to have us out there. Man, we live for that Easter egg hunt. But me not having any kids, but I don't know if I told you, but my mama died by four dozen eggs like she got babies. <laughs> you know, I think I've eaten two of them, but man. Do your thing, was... Miss Jeffco. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> she was serious about them eggs. And I was like, what are you and Kevin talking about? She was like, well, he's trying to reach in here and get my eggs and they are not finished yet. I want him to sit in there a little longer. And I was like, oh, okay. So she's serious about the eggs. And April, today, April 17th, is my aunt birth, my aunt Barbara's birthday. Happy 68th birthday, Aunt Barbara. We love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> You're not gonna sing happy birthday to her? You want me to sing happy birthday to her? Do your thing, girl. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Aunt Barbara. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Aunt Barbara. Love you, Auntie. <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know what happened. We just, since we got our, our technical <laughs> difficulties under control, we just started talking. So, right. you know, hey. We having a good time though, so it's all good. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, you know, last year uh, around this time we was gearing up for Mother's Day and we had a Mother's Day shoot. Right. What are we gonna do this year? Yeah, we can do it. You no, know who we got to get out there? We had, yeah, we got to get my mama. You got to get your mama. We yeah, had, we need um, to call her up and set that up for real. We 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 got to get a um. Uh, help me out! Help me out! And I don't know why I did that because I hate it when people do that on the on the on the mic. <laughs> um, we did a last year. We did a um, a podcast with the mothers too. So right, you know. Well, I'm just gonna start complaining about it, and then you're gonna come back and do the same thing. <laughs> why you say that? Huh? Why you say that? Because you did. Oh, I didn't mean to. I, I was looking at the meters on the on the stream. That's why I saw it. I so. think I heard it actually, and I caught it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Only it's you. It's all good. It's all good. Only you. But yeah, um, I'm thinking maybe maybe we get a, a shoot with the with some with some single moms or you know something like that, and then just get them all at the round table. And I just want to just want to see them, you know, kind of chat it up a little bit. Right. Well, just FYI, you know, I have to travel for work on Mother's Day. Yeah. So you're going to have to do that sooner than later because your window just closed a week. Mother's Day is three weeks away and I got to be, I got to be, I can get there late that evening, but I'm just saying. So you might want to plan that so we can get it posted and done on Mother's Day while we're traveling. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's something to think about. We'll, yeah. we'll see. I try to look out for you. Amen. 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 All right. Anything else on your mind pressing? That you want to share with the people? No, nah, not too, too much. Not too pressing. Okay. Well, I want to say this, guys, for the future. What's up with my preview? For the future, um, I want to do a little challenge. There's a little, I'm not going to put too much time into it, but there is a show on Netflix called The Ultimatum. It's a series. I need you guys to check it out. We're going to have a conversation about it. Not so much about the people in general and our thoughts, but just about life and the ultimatum. Just check it out on Netflix. Um, hit me up. I'll probably get some conversation going about it later on on Facebook. You know, I'm going to give it a week or so. To check, let you guys check in. Let me know which, um, if you've watched it. And you don't have to watch the whole thing to chat about it. Just watch the first three, three four series. Let's talk about it. I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting. That's all. I want to put that out there just to drum up some conversation for later. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I understand. I guess that's out there for the for the ladies. Well, the, the men can listen to it too, right? And right. we can watch it as well, right? Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. You guys take care. Be safe and have a safe week. Bye.